You need the court clerk or, or the judge to sign this so that it's official. As, as it is, I don't know who gave it to me and if that person has any authority or not. Let me see if there's any way for Is it somewhere for them to sign it on there? District clerk. Who was it that came and gave that to me? That's a court coordinator. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need it either okay. from the clerk or the judge. Well, let me explain something to you. It's no longer in this court. Well, it is because it's... No, nah, no, nah, it's CDC 5. Okay. Until... So that's where your case has been moved to. That's where your issue is with CDC mm -hmm. 5. It's not in this court. Okay, what I'm telling you is... Unless... And what I'm telling you is your case... Why do you keep interrupting me? I'm being polite with you. I'm being polite We'll to have you. a discourse back and forth. Okay. I take my turn, you I'm take it. I'm going to say this to you. Your case is not in this court. Okay. It's in next door. You have no issues with this court anymore. Okay? Your case was moved to another court, Mr. Springer. So whatever issue you got with your court dates... Whatever issue you got any documents need to be handled in CDC 5, which is next door. That's all I'm telling you. Okay. And until the court clerk okay. or the judge. We'll put that right there. Who, and if you disrupt this courtroom, I'm going to have security have you removed off this courtroom and out this building. Are you threatening now, violence you, against me for I trying to clarify you, some things? There's nothing to clarify. There's no. Well, I'm trying to clarify some things. And I clarify to you, your, court, your issues in CDC 5. That's what your case is assigned to. 282 has nothing to do with that. So 282 summoned me here today for a hearing and then denied it.